Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Pearson and I'm happy to read you another story. Today is actually Mother's Day and it's in the evening that I'm making this tape and I hope that you all did something very nice for your mothers today. Helped out with some chores, maybe made her something to eat or whatever she wanted. I hope that you were very helpful and that you made it a very special day for her. I wanted to say first off that this last week of school um, was Teacher Appreciation Week and oh my goodness, I got a couple surprises um, from a couple of you for Teacher Appreciation Week. So thank you very much. I enjoyed those gifts and thank you very much. I felt appreciated. So this week coming up, we're gonna have our Zoom meeting and tomorrow morning your parents will get an email from me talking about that and talking about what we're gonna be learning about this week. So I'll talk about that in just a minute. I wanted to read a story called Old Hat, New Hat by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Because I was thinking that today I went on a walk on Cushman Trail and I wore a hat and I wore sunglasses because it was really hot and I wanted to cover up my head. So we're gonna learn about this story in this book about old hats and new hats and what they look like. So I hope you enjoy. This is an old hat. Kinda looks like a grandpa's hat. Yeah, grandpa's wearing the hat. Old hat and new hat. See the difference? This one is old and look at this one. This is brand new so it's all, it hasn't lost its shape and it looks super nice. Oh, so they're gonna go to the hat store. Here's the gentleman who works at the hat store and he's gonna let the little guy in. Here's a new hat, here's a new hat, here's a new hat and here's a new hat. Now look at the shape of those. They are all different. Just like each of us are different. We're not all the same. So he's gonna decide which hat he wants to buy. I wonder what it will be. Oh, look at this one. He tries this one on and it's just too big. Sometimes you might wanna wear your mom and dad's hats or things and they just might be a little bit too big. Oh, and look at this one right here. This one was too small. This was too big and this was too small. Had a little problem with that. Uh-oh. This one says this was too flat. Look at that. Look at here, oh my goodness. This one is too tall. Oh, that person's trying to carry some boxes and the hat is as tall as those boxes are. It's a pretty tall hat. Uh-oh. Here's a hat that says, this is too loose. It's just kind of just drooping down. And this one says, uh-oh, he has a strap around his hat. And it says, that is too tight. Doesn't like that too tight of a hat. Uh-oh, look at this one. This is like somebody, a king or something has to wear this. This is too heavy. Couldn't even hardly hold it. Uh-oh, and look what happened when he opened up the box. It was too light. It just kind of flew up like with the balloons there. I think he was trying to catch it, but he couldn't catch it. Uh-oh, this one says it's too red. Now I wonder about that, because you know Mrs. Pearson likes the color red, but this hat is too red. Uh-oh, this one has polka dots. He's saying, that's too dotty. Don't really like that one. Oh, look at this one. He says, hmm, that's too blue. And this one, he says, no, that's too spotty. So I don't think he liked the red one or the dotty one or the blue one or the spotty one. He just hasn't found the right hat yet. Oh, look at this one. This one says it was too fancy. Look at that. This one says, uh-oh, he didn't like this one because it had too many frills on it. 
girls, we kind of like lace and things like that, but no, he did not like that. It was too frilly. Uh oh, look at this one. He says, this is too shiny. See how it shines? And look at this one. It's all kinds of silly. He says, that is too silly. I am not going to wear that hat. No way. Uh oh, look at this one. This one says it's too beady. This one says it's too bumpy. This one says too leafy. This one says too lumpy. This one says too twisty, too twirly, too wrinkly, and too curly. I think he has not decided on the right kind of hat yet. These hats, I'm thinking of these hats. These would be really funny to see people wearing these in Gig Harbor. That would make Mrs. Pearson laugh. Uh-oh, look at this one. It says this one is too holy. This one, oh, it has too many patches on it. He doesn't like all those patches on it. Uh-oh, look at this one with all the feathers. He says, oh, that's too many feathers. Too feathery. This hat kind of crooked. He says, oh, that's too crooked. I don't think I'm going to wear that one. This one, oh, it looks like it would be itching your head the whole time you wore it. He says, that's too scratchy. Oh, look at this one. He says, that is too straight. I do not like that one. And this one, you've seen these kind of looks like those birthday hats sometimes that you might get at a party. He says, I don't like that. That's too pointy. Wait, 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 he says. I think he has a great idea. What do you think is going to be the perfect hat for him? Don't know. Let's find out. He says, this one is just right. He's looking at himself in the mirror and he says, that one is just right. Just right, the man says at the store. Yep, it is just right. Just right just right. And all the mirrors that he's looking at look just right. New hat. Uh-oh. Look at the man at the store. Does he look happy? Mm -mm. No, he does not. He left the store with his old hat. He went shopping, but he ended up saying, I think I want my old hat. Even if it does look kind of like a grandpa hat to him, he left the store without buying a hat. So this week, if it gets hot and sunny like it was this weekend, you think about putting a hat on your head to keep you cool in the sun, okay? And this week, part of what your family's gonna learn about when they get my email is that our essential question of the week is, what do you see in the sky? Hmm. Right now I'm looking out my window and I just see kind of a gray sky. It's getting late at night and still gonna, it's gonna get dark here pretty soon. But let's think about all the things that you could see in the sky, okay? And then this week, we're gonna be working on our heart words again. Practice working on your, learning the heart words and let me know if you've earned any of your crowns. That would be fun. And then also, I want you to do something for our Zoom meeting this week. You've kind of drawn pictures for me and you kind of did the, like last week we had the Y and Z words that you made for me. Now this week I want you to do something for me, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to think about all the planets in the sky. I don't even know how many there are. There are so many, too many to count. So think about all those planets in the sky and I want you to think about which planet you think is the best. I'll have to think about that. I'll let you know at our Zoom meeting what my favorite uh, planet is. But you think of your favorite planet and I want you to give me two reasons why you think that's the best planet. So when you're writing your sentence and when you're drawing your picture, draw a picture of the planet. And then your sentence, I want you to say, the best planet is, and then tell me why, because, and then you can give me the reason why you think it's the best planet, okay? 
So I look forward to seeing you at our Zoom meeting this week and you will have your little assignment of your writing to tell me which is the best planet and think about all the things that you see in the sky. I might ask you that question. All the different things, because I see things all the time in my sky. When I'm driving, when I'm just sitting outside, when I'm going for a walk. So we'll talk about that. So see you this week and I look forward to it. Bye-bye. Good night.